Hello, Scrabble here. How's it going? Today we are going to play Oxenfree for the Nintendo Switch. I have not played this one before. It's on sale right now for 75% uh, off. Seems like a good deal. Everyone's always talking, saying good things about it. So let's give it a go. sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Oh, interesting. Okay. I'm trying to be quiet because I wasn't sure if we were in a uh, thing or not. Okay, so my mind drifted. Jonas, what you're seeing right now is what I like to call a trip. This blank stare thing Alex will do sometimes. You might think something's wrong, but there isn't. She's just rebooting. Okay. Yeah. She's rebooting. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a, you know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. No, wait, what happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens, and he thought she worked there, and blah, 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 they hit it off. Aw, uh, that's downright adorable. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um, I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so. And what? Does that make you to her, then? Hey, uh, second cousin? Uh. I don't know. He's my stepbrother. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling, living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. No, that's the weird part. I mean, isn't it like... The concept of just getting a new sister, like a puppy, isn't it kind of awkward? <laughs> no, it's been totally bizarre. But just for the record, I don't consider you a pet. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic, grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blocks. Ugh, it's so creepy now to think about it. Why? We were babies. It's funny, that's all. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Hmm. Uh, wait, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play. <laughs> Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like... Yeah, little... let's do it. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, Asian Zero, AIDS guy? It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so <laughs> probably. Here's good. Come on, Alex, join the fun. Are you joining the fun? We're not taking the pick until you get in here. I am in here. I can wait all night. I don't understand what you're looking for. Maybe not all night, but until the boat docks. Hey, Toy to great. Hmm. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. <laughs> hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing, so tune to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. Tune to what? Which I played because that song has been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promise you I can't change it. From his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, what 
with her talent show judge face was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, uh, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Really confused right now. Okay, and I know nothing about this game. Was he serious when he said I was rebooting? Am I a robot? I don't think I'm a robot. Say he saw me in the bathroom as a kid. If I'm Alex. Loading times seem long. Otherwise, it's uh, really interesting so far. It's just, it's not what I was expecting. Although I don't know what I was expecting. splitting up but I feel like I'm supposed to setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement at my old house. Yeah, so no problem. Interesting, most of her options are kind of mean or mean seeming. And I don't want to be mean. I'm not generally a mean guy, so it feels like I'm stuck in the one option. Oh, I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the the um, the radio guy thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what? Like one oh two point three? Uh okay, sure. They 
named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year Never under the command of Lieutenant before. James Earl Kind of creepy in a way, right? On October 20, yeah. 1943, I hate thinking about it. It, it reminds me of those scenes in movies where the sailors have to seal somebody up to drown or else the flooding will take over the ship, you know? Yeah, no, I always thought submarine duty was like the worst possible water. war assignment. You like tall people. Damn, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. Mm. That's true. Hello, kids. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trip. Shops at a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Al. But as the honest margin is, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name. Keep going now. I like that you can not talk. I also don't like, I mean, he keeps talking, so it's impossible to not cut him off. This is interesting. I assume this is the whole thing that we're going to be exploring. It says we go to the Discovery Cliffs from here, and that there's two people over there that I'm reading this, right? to see if there are any letters. No, we must have to find letters. Photos? Oh, interesting. Okay. So, there is a photo here that I haven't seen. That's, uh... I don't know who that is. Is that... I don't know. Alright. Let's push this. You know, you could help, Ren. Maybe make things faster.
Alright, sort of knife game now. Come and join us. It's interesting. There's a radio thing up there. I haven't got, haven't done. That sounded super sarcastic. Guess on where we go. I feel like we're supposed to be moving as a group here, but I have to leave them to push things along. I also, again, I missed that place with the radio. And I don't know if that's going to make a difference later. This is really, this isn't what I expected at all. But again, I kind of expected a walking simulator. That's what we have so far, but I've been told that it is not a walking simulator. Yeah. 
I'm not standing, I'm sitting. Whatever the complete opposite of cool is, hot, but in a bad way. All right, Alex, you get first blood. Slap him like he stole something. I can't believe this has happened. Ha and it's not even my birthday. Jonas is excited, or maybe excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust is to. Is there like a question coming or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. <laughs> that statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably going to get divorced again. Mm. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So let's put his mind at ease and hear why. Okay, just get to whatever point this is getting to. The point is. Why'd your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. You know why. Michael died and it broke everything and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. It's pretty rough. Don't die and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa. Oh god, Jonas may die. Honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. <laughs> Wait, let's Let's not stop like this. We should let Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could and get... And that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Man, what is your problem, Clarissa? Just what did we... What did I do to make you act like I ate the last piece of chocolate cake on your flippin' birthday? <laughs> nothing, Alex. You did absolutely nothing. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt, or playing Ring Around the Rosy, Happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish? You be sure to just let me know. Super. Sure, we'll grab ya if we find any, um... Island Bigfoots? Island Bigfoots, exactly. Someone well, snapped a I photo. I don't think I'm in it. By checking out the caves. Nona, wanna come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm very but... clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. I think I screwed up. I don't think I was supposed to go up here. I'm just out of the photo. <laughs> and... Do you want to check out the caves, or...? I do. I don't think they're up there, though. Yeah, come on. Boost me up. I'm nowhere even close. I seem to have broken the speech. <laughs> come on. I'll push oh, you over. Oh, I forgot. We never talked about Whenever God. you're ready. Oh, what, their date? Yeah, he, uh... Unless he I get a crink in my back. I'm coming. <laughs> I might happen if you don't go soon. <laughs> I don't know. So, what happened? They just... It was funny. I guess they tried ordering drinks, and they, hmm. like... She wanted so, something the cave, like a name what's your bet? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it gonna be? Hmm. Mm, probably a 5. Weird enough to remember, but not weird enough to tell anybody about it after. <laughs> Alright. Hey, 
Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Yeah, Ren. About Nona. Yeah, what the hell was up with you and the whole me liking her thing during the game? I mean, okay, fine. Fun is fun. But I'm trying to get in with this girl, and it was as if you liked making me look like an idiot. I'm sorry. I am. I, I was just trying to have fun. I didn't know you would take it so seriously. Well, I am. I mean, I do, but it's fine. I'll just have to work the old Ren charm even stronger now. You'd be more with her if you uh, were open about it. I heard that. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally. Me, me, me. Oh, wait. Actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those <laughs> look like brownies. Brownie Town. Oh, you're the only one? Gimme. <laughs> oh, no. These are just for me. Mm. I've been waiting a long time for this. Yeah, maybe it's best he's the test balloon for this anyway. So pot brownies for him. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? Mm -hmm. The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. Hmm. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. All right, let's do this. If I spoke Morse code, this would probably be interesting, that channel. Holy crap. That was weird. Wow, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. This what is it? What's doing it? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just crazy, then, because I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes, too, I hmm. think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. Whoa, the light is flashing. This is so cool. I know. Why is the light flashing in the cave? Right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? She dated Michael for five seconds like three years ago. Mm, before he died. A couple of months, a year and a half ago. She should just seriously get over it already. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Huh. Brownies are kicking in. <laughs> that makes sense? <laughs> yeah, it did to me. Okay, good. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. More Morse code. That linked in the back of the cave that time. So, yeah, it sounds. Uh, it sounds like painful. Yeah. Wait, what was that? There's like, this is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous. No, I see it too. I'm sure there is something in there, like. A giant rabies filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. If it's a pool, that'd be cool. I um, didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> cool pool. <laughs> Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Wait a minute, Jonas! How do I get out? Okay, there we go. Because I think shh, I think I mismeasured the magic. <laughs> oh, Ren. You seem to be a bit of an idiot. That's interesting. The photo, I am around <laughs> the bonfire, but I was clearly up the stairs when the bonfire was taken. Nowhere in sight. Hmm. I think we'll keep going for a little bit. Let's see what's in the cave before 
before we cut it off. I'm really like this game's kind of weird. I'm gonna finish playing it, but the game's the game's kind of weird. It's interesting. We don't have enough information to do any kind of theories about what we're seeing. 10 p.m. An hour later. Where the heck did Jonas go? Jonas! Jonas! Oh, where's the one? Where are you, Jonas? Um, okay. I was like, I don't see how to get off of this thing. It's really dark in here. Looks like she's a pretty good climber. If Jonas isn't this good at climbing, he's probably dead. I could see Jonas having both of those things. But he's had no time to use them. See a man about a dog. <laughs> sure, will do. Didn't you hear me calling for you? Jesus, you scared me. Oh, I scared you? You scared me. I had no idea where you were. I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought I thought I heard somebody down here. Isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this... how this happens. Give me time to respond. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kinda? I don't know where it's coming from. What could that be? Echoes? Sounds of the ocean bouncing off the walls? It's me, I failed geology. <sighs> there was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Well, seeing as how I crawled in here to get you, might as well make the most of it. Yeah, and I mean, look, if it's cool, we can get the others. And if it's not, we'll just leave. So the thing is, I don't know if I'm about to die. I don't know if that's a thing in this game. I'm kind of creeped out by it. Oh, maybe it's these crystals that going. No. No, where? It's like in the the air, right there. It, it must be like a like a rainbow or like a reflection of light. Those um exist, right? Um, cave, triangle, rainbow. I don't see it. Uh, maybe. Until last week, I hadn't heard about parrot. <gasps> oh, I do see it. I guess anything's possible. What the heck is that thing? Somehow. Saw the man, but not the dog. Well, if I did, neat. I finally know what it feels like to catch a big trout. <laughs> Try your radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. Like if it'll have an effect. Yeah, good idea. Maybe it'll dance or twitch or something. Let's do it. Come on. Working on it.
Phoenix, really. I want to see what it's going to do. Whoa. It's definitely reacting. Is this... Are you... Is this... You? Are you doing this? Uh... I... I think... Huh. The heck? I can't even like what is what's Shut up. What? Huh. What? What? We just watch a alien ship crash? Is that what we're looking at? I made a coffee and I forgot to drink it. Oxen free. My coffee's upstairs getting cold. Oxen free. But I could sure use a coffee. Oxen free. Ollie ollie oxen free. Wait, what? 11 p.m. Where the hell am I now? Are you okay? You all right? Uh, what happened? That is a very good question. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there, but the sign says that's an old communications tower. And I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. I don't want to be the party pooper here. No, I'm. Way ahead of you. There's gotta be some kind of emergency station or way to get out without taking the ferry. Oh, enough or nothing. I'm fine with a little de pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank. Pardon Tower. Oh, it's called that, I think, because the radio man who watched it, he was Major Richard Harden. I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> Wait, the guy's name was Major Dick Harden? <laughs> <laughs> makes the whole trip worth it, doesn't it? I wouldn't go that far. From 
1941 to 1972, this communications tower served many different telecommunication functions, including point-to-point -point from its receivers, microwave from its dish, CA band for satellite reception, and military air band for nearby aircraft. Unique in its construction, the tower houses its office in a segmented platform directly underneath its antenna and dish. Once unceremoniously called Site-82, in 1988 it was redesignated Hardin Tower for its longest tenured radio man, Major Richard Dick Hardin, who served as the tower's communications officer for eight years. From 1941 to... Interesting. I don't know if we can call it there. I think we can. Uh, oh, and then we see we're in Hardin Tower. And Hardin Tower is way away from where we were on Beacon Beach. I have no idea how we got here. But this is where we're going to cut it. That was definitely interesting. I'm very excited to see what happens next. And for you, that'll be next time. If you've enjoyed, please like, share, subscribe. Take care. Tune in for more. Oxenfree.